tissue. It's bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up with a Uzi. My niggas is savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. My bitch is bad and bullshit. Bad. Cooking up with a Uzi. My niggas is savage, ruthless. We got thudders and hundred rounds too. All set. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going to jump straight into this video with the eyes. If you want to see my foundation routine, go check out my first video. I will be doing an eyebrow tutorial in the near future, so stay tuned in for that. Here I am taking those two brown shades and I'm going to be bluffing that into the crease as a transition shade. So here I am just going into the crease in circular motions with those two colors just to really pack that into my crease. Now I'm going to be going into this palette and I will list this in the description box and I'm going to be going in with that orange color and also applying that in the crease as a transition shade. So here I'm also just bluffing that orange back and forth in the outer and inner corner. Now I am going back in that same palette and I'm going to be using that burgundy shade and applying that in the crease. And this is just to deepen the crease up even more and make our shadows blend together very nicely and get that gradient effect. I also wanted to throw this in about eyeshadow. In my opinion, a little goes a long way. You don't need as much product when it comes to eyeshadow. All you want to do is really just build on the colors, like starting from the lightest to darkest instead of going in with just a dark color and trying to blend it out. When starting with a light color, it makes the darker color easier to blend out because you started with a transition shade or a lighter shade than with the shade you're trying to go in.
Next, I'm going to go back into that contour kit and I'm going to be taking that whitish tan color and I'm going to be applying that to the lid. So here I'm just packing that on the lid and blending it out as I go. Now I'm going back into that eye color palette and I'm going to be using that black shade and lightly dabbing that to the outer crease. So here I'm just really lightly dusting that in. And now I'm going to be going into my BH Cosmetics palette and I'm going to be taking that dark purple shade and applying that along with the black, dabbing that in. And what I am going to be doing here is blending that out and blending it into the inner crease, working my way in, just bluffing it in really good, back and forth, and circular motions. And you want to do it in circular motion because it's easier to blend. Now I'm going back into that eye colors palette. I'm going back in with that orange transition shade to soften up this brown purplish color we just put into the crease. So all I am doing is blending that orange shade into the crease and this is just softening up the color and bringing back those transition colors. Okay, you guys, so I just did my eyeliner off camera, and now I'm dusting away that powder. And I'm also going to be applying my lashes off camera. And I'm doing an eyeliner and how to apply your lashes in a separate video, so also to in for that. Okay, you guys, so now I'm moving on to highlight, and I'm going to be taking that gold shimmery shade and I'm going to be applying that under my brow bone on the highest points of my face and the bridge of my nose. I also went into that palette and used that white shimmery shade and I put that into my tear duct as you can see.
So now I'm back from off camera from applying my lashes and now I'm just coating my real lashes and falsies with mascara. So here I am just doing that and I will be listing the mascara I use in the description box. Y'all have to excuse my face on this scene. I had freaking glue on my hands and was so disgusted but here i'm just going to be lining my lips with that purple shade and i also will be listing the name of this in the description box i also end up changing my lip from like a brown to a purple color that matches my eyeshadow which you guys will see towards the end in the slow mos I end up using a brown liquid li liquid lipsticks. Here all I'm using is this brown shade to fill in my lips. But I didn't like it so yeah I just used a lippy. A purple lippy. But this is basically the finished look. You guys like, comment, and subscribe. And see you in my next video.